you want to become a devops engineer but scared you need to be a coding expert here is the truth most beginners think that devops needs 10 years of coding experience that is completely wrong you need to be basic scripting and not software engineering skills here are the solutions i have given step number one learn one scripting language python or bash just basics loops variables and functions i will show you the simple script example which i have right now so this is my hello.sh file so this is the python script file uh, you need to execute with dot hello.py okay so permission denied for that what you need to do here is so you need to change the permission with using the change mode chmod plus x that means executable permissions i am trying so permission change now try to execute hello.py so this is my script file was executed that is the first part was completed then what is the second step python or bash step 2 master linux basics that is commands file system or permissions i will show you that also with the simple script <coughs> so basic commands ls minus l what it does is so it will list the files and directories in the current folder with details here you can see this size created time and the size of that one so that is the one and file system you can use df minus h so it will give you the disk space usage with the human readable format why it is important you know what is the storage and file systems it will give you the file system size used size used available uh, and use uh, the percentage and mounted disk values and next one is the permissions just now we have created that one right change mode so we can use this change mode with the script file chmod755 allow.py so what is that mean we are giving the read write and executable permissions all permissions we are giving so you can try with this one you can see this you can see this read write executable permissions you have right now for all groups and other permissions that's what the basic thing and what is the solution number two here and solution number two pick one cloud platform that is aws azure or gcp don't learn all only one and the next is the docker and kubernetes basics and build projects these are uh, setup ci cd pipelines and deployments this is very crucial and 